what's going on guys hope you all are doing great it's so hot right now so you know what we need to create a weather application we'll be using the open weather map api quite popular and yeah they have good um weather analytics and all that so we'll be using them for this tutorial in this tutorial at the end you will know exactly your locations weather the humidity the wind and all that good stuff that you should know when you're actually making api calls with the weather api map if you're new to the channel my name is sam and i create tutorials mainly project tutorials that you can put on your portfolio so when you're looking for jobs or internship you actually have something that will impress the interviewers and all that so if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe like the video share it to friends who you know are into programming and yeah that's about it so you know what let's get to it as you can see right here i have all the comments because this is actually how you should create your projects any project you're doing you should make sure you have some comments to really guide you these comments will act like a roadmap to your destination so we'll follow these comments and make sure that we actually understand what we're doing at each line of our project of our code so the first thing i'm going to show you is how you get your api key and you can do that right here you can see right here i'll leave a link to this url right here all you need to do is create a new account when you create the account you will be directed to a place where you just click on this api right here and when you click on this spot you will have your api key it will be down there and you can even create different api keys for different projects if you've done that then yeah let's get started with the code right here now the first thing you can see that we need to do is we need to import the required library and this library we're going to import is Wow, I do not know what I just did. Uh -huh. Wow, I literally deleted everything, but thank you for the undo button. <laughs> so the first thing we'll do is we'll import, we'll import our request. Now that we have our request, the next thing we need to do is we need to actually get our API key, underscore key, and we'll set that put them with the API key is always in string form you should have your API key I'm gonna just put mine right here copy and paste it and for sure after this tutorial I'm going to delete this API key because you should never really share API keys because it's like really confidential information and depending on who has that API key some people can do some crazy stuff with it so make sure you're not sharing your API key around after this we need to actually get our root URL where we'll be making the calls from. So the base URL for open map API. And we'll just put it right here. Set that equal to, now that we've done this, we need to get some user input. So we'll call this city name, create a variable called city name. And we'll use the input to get the user input. And the question we're going to ask is what city do you want to know the weather for what city do you want to know the weather yeah short and simple put a question mark put this space there so there's literally there's a little bit of space between the user input and the last word now that we have this what we need to do next is we need to build the final url for our api call and the way we do that is we'll say url create a variable called url and we'll use the string literal f string is our curly brackets we'll say root url and then we'll say app id is equal to we'll put our api key and then we'll say and and um equals to then we'll put the city name and that's about it what we need to do is we need to create a variable that's gonna actually request that will send the, that will get the request at the URL. So say so you request the get, and then we'll say URL. Now what we need to do next is we need to display the JSON weather data returned by the API because we always need to be able to actually print it out. So say print r .json. Um, yep, that's it for this. Now, what we'll do next is we'll store this returning JSON data into a variable, and we'll call this variable data. Set that equal to r.json. 
now that we've done that what we'll do is we'll need to check if there's no error or if the status quo is actually right because if there's error we want to have a way of telling the user that you know maybe you made a mistake with the city you chose or the spelling of the city and all that so say code is equal to 200 okay now it's time to actually get the information we need from the JSON data and what we want first is we'll create a variable called temperature and this will actually take the temperature we'll say data main and then temp and just copy this this whole format and this is going to be pressure now because we also want to be able to get the pressure I told you we'll get everything that is needed to know why is it so hot in this city and we'll put pressure here and the next is humidity humidity variable called humidity I'll put humidity here um, We'll call this like describe or discrete and then we we'll say data and then want to know the speed oh i made a mistake this is for wind so i'll take this this is the description from the json file and yeah so this is for here this is wind and here for the description we shorten it to discrete and this is going to take the weather itself weather and then the description and inside here we'll have zero now it's time to actually display all this data we have and I'll put the print we'll use our f string or string literal I'll say city name say the name and say city underscore name and then we'll print the same for the weather weather condition the condition is and then we'll have the description of the weather condition and we'll have the same for temperature so right here we'll say the temperature is inside here we'll put the temp variable yeah, and the next is pressure the pressure is changes to pressure you can add the capital also here for temperature next is humidity change this to humidity the temperature we need to put Kelvin or Kelvin for pressure we'll put HPA humidity we put percent and then the last one for this is the speed of the wind speed of wind is I'll say wind m slash s now it's time to have our else statement and 
and else is going to be we just print that oh there's something wrong because if we can't get this data then that means probably there's a spelling mistake or you, then you put a country that is not in the api i mean not country city that is not in the api so we'll say something went wrong please try different city Dot, 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 dot. So that's about it, and this comment is for that. Now, if we did everything right, we should be able to run this code and not get any errors. Oh, yeah, so it's not code, it's COD, code without an E. Yeah, so this is another error, it should be dot, not a uh, comma. And this should be and q equals to so all these are really important and now we check again say abuja and yup we can see it's working it's showing the weather condition is light rain the temperature is 295 calvin the pressure is 1014 the humidity is 94 and the wind is 2.4 MS. Let's try another place. Let's try Alicante. And we can see it's also slight rain weather condition. Temperature is Calvin 3.04. Let me try New York. See the condition is clear sky. Temperature is you can see it here the pressure humidity so yes guys we got it finally got all the errors what i will say is that you can see most of the errors came from the root url normally i would actually have this already pasted somewhere you shouldn't really write this from scratch you should copy and paste it from the um, from the website itself that's giving you the api so you can get the base url correct and not make any mistake in that and yeah also this make sure that you have everything written right if you have any question put it down in the comments below if your app is not working put it in the comments below i'll answer you and help you out make sure you know that you have it exactly the way i wrote this code so that it's not syntax error and yeah that's basically it for this video let me know what videos you would like to see on this channel like subscribe guys it really helps with the youtube algorithm it's completely free so like subscribe share the video to friends who are into programming i want to actually increase their portfolio and have cool projects diverse projects in their portfolio and yeah that's basically it for this video and i'll see you all on the next one